Hi, Mike from RMT Family here. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick fix that we needed to do to our boiler to keep it going. This video was actually recorded at the beginning of the winter season. And if you have been following our channel, you will notice that this boiler video is out of order. I hope you still comment, share, like and subscribe. Thank you. Let's go. So just yesterday afternoon, we got our boiler going, did the big clean out and got it started up. And this morning it was dead. It showed 85 degrees. Uh, water temperature and showed a fault code LO for low which I remembered as being low water in the boiler but I checked that yesterday too and also this morning I went back here right here on the back side you open this there we go now we can see it so you basically this is closed drains the water out slowly slowly it's hard to see in this tube there it is all the way out you open it you can see it shoot right up here right to the full line there so the water was definitely full so what I did is I opened up the back side here and I got in here and I took the valve off this thing here off there so that air can get in here into the burner chamber and as you can see it's smoking so that means we got a fire going obviously it's just burning just as a regular firewood in here without the blower blowing any air in and I had to do this so that we can keep the heat going in the house because obviously we switched everything over to the boiler and so without that we couldn't uh, heat the house and now we're showing 210 and it shows high because the water temperature is high so it got too hot now because it's no longer regulated it's just burning in there so anyway um, when it shows low then the water level is supposedly low and so you open this controller area up here and uh, according to this here the one to the left here is the water level sensor which should be this right here and i don't know there may be an issue here there's a couple buck connectors there maybe the sensor itself is an issue there's more connectors here who knows what's going on here and then it goes at least this one wire goes in to the control board I haven't opened that up yet um, the other wire is this pink one here that goes straight into the control board as well so um, what I want to do is I want to measure the height from here all the way down there and compare that with the height in the back of the level gauge I'm wondering if I can actually without draining any water pull this sensor out and inspect it I'm not sure what this is um, there's a black mark at the top here so this could be a float sensor and the black mark needs to be at the top and the float could be stuck um, so first but I got to measure that to make sure there's not 
water pouring out of here when I open this up. We'll measure from the bottom up. Got pretty much 58 inches right there. Let's do the same thing back here. The full water level is 61 inches. So that said, if I would pull this out, I would have water pouring out of here as the water level is about up here. So I need to drain some of the water before I pull the sensor out. Um, also what I will test real quick is I will get these wires out, disconnect uh, these two and hook them together so if this is just a regular float switch down would be open up would be closed usually or the other way around and uh, so as I snip the two wires either my low message goes away or as I hook the two wires together the low message should go away and the boiler would function fine again not knowing how much water there actually is just uh, assuming because I put these wires together that it has the correct water level. So let me get some tools out and let's get started. All right, I gathered some tools. Let's open this up. go so we can get to that a little better so I assume this is a float either normally open or normally closed snip this off didn't work. Holy moly. There we go. There. Okay. So, and now we got an open connection. Let me check the panel. Well, now the panel only shows high because of the high temperature <laughs> so that's okay nothing's happening so I think we should be able to twist those together and it doesn't really grab but it will protect it a little bit so Now, if this makes it function again, I should be able to put this on, connect these two. Oh, wrong screwdriver. <laughs> there we go. All right. <clears throat> Close this up. And when I open the door, the blower should come on. But nothing happens. So the blower should have come on, I'm pretty sure, even though it shows high water temperature. 
So let's make sure. Yes, we're definitely connected. Let's open it up. Doesn't make the blower come on either. So maybe I have to wait for the temperature to drop below uh, its uh, high limit mark, its high temperature mark, which I believe is like 200 degrees or so. So we're pretty high right now. So I'm gonna try to kill the fire. We got nice hot coal in here right now. So now that I closed up the back side, I'm gonna go close this here. And I'm gonna close the bypass. And that eliminates pretty much all the oxygen to uh, the coal in there. So the fire should die. And uh, as we are using the heat in the house, we'll take heat away from this water. And we'll check this out here in about a half an hour or an hour or so and see if uh, this comes back to life. Low? 199 or something, huh? Yeah, so we're back to the low fault. Let's see if this will cure it here. Let's try that again. There we go. Oh, low is gone. Okay, I was also bringing out the multimeter. I had it out here and I measured between these two wires and I had an open, which that will go along with my thinking of with the flow being down as normally open then up being closed making a connection which that's what I'm simulating here and it seems to be good so if I open this door I should hear a clunk and the blower should come on uh -oh. no clunk no blower oh there's the clunk there's the blower oh it just took a little bit all right the clunk is uh the solenoid that opens back here. We can open this here real quick. That's these two here. So anytime you open the door, these two will open. This one will open only for fire. So when we need to blow air in there to get it going. <clears throat> so at this point, the temperature is still plenty high. So it will not try to reignite the fire. Um, it will uh, just, uh, well, open the door and do nothing and do the clunk. And then when I close it, it will basically shut off again shortly after. So for right now, that's all I'm gonna do because I know my water is good. And uh, so I don't have to worry about low water. I think it placed the screws in here, right there. So I'm just gonna leave that bypassed until I feel like dealing with this which means I would have to drain some water and then take that float out and see what's going on. Maybe it's just stuck. I don't know what the hell is going on with it. But at this point, I'm happy we're going again. Put those panels back on. There we go, let's double check. Ah, uh, 
I looked right about there maybe. Yeah, right about here. So still way up there. So obviously cooled down some, which uh, lowers the water level a little. Now, question is, can we get the fire going here? Oh, it's too hot. To, too hot. I was pressing the door switch here in hopes of uh, it would switch over to the other blower, but the water's still way too hot, so it does not. Um, I'm gonna leave it open for a little bit and go get some more wood. And if I come back and it hasn't started yet, I'll use the torch to get it going. All right, I came back, got a wheelbarrow full of wood. Still no fire, so we'll reignite. Come on. Ah, oh, heck. There we go again. That should be good for now. Okay. Trying to get the smaller stuff right on there so unfortunately the battery in the camera will die here in a few seconds and you won't hear the rest I had to say that day so anyway we got the boiler restarted and this was obviously not a complete repair this was just a quick fix to keep the boiler going until we can replace this sensor this float sensor for the water level so at this point we just need the heat and this is how we kept this boiler going so i hope you like this video please give us a thumbs up uh, comment down below share this video with others that might be interested in it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet thank you for watching goodbye